In this video, we're going to consider this activity network and we're going to calculate the total float, independent float and interfering float for each of the activities. So, first of all, activity A. Now, activity A, as you can see, we've got 0, 0 and 3, 3 and the duration is 3. 0 plus 3 is 3. So that means that A is critical. So the total float anyway we know is going to be zero. So we don't even need to consider if there's any independent float or interfering float. So I'm just going to put dashes for the independent float and interfering float. If you put uh, zero, that would be fine also. The calculation wise for the total float, three take away zero, take away three. Zero. For the independent float, three take away zero, take away three. 0. And then you've got 0 take away 0 to get your interfering float. So for activity B, we've got 3, 3, 9, 9. The duration is 6. So B is also critical. So 0, dash, dash. Right, how about C? So for C, that's not critical because we've got 7, 11. OK, so the total float is 11, Take away 3, take away 4. Okay, so the outers, so 11, take away 3, then take away the duration. So 11, take away 3 is 8, take away 4 is 4. So that's the total float. Now, how about the independent float? Well, that's calculated by doing the inners. So we've got 7, take away 3, take away 4. And of course, that's zero. So the interfering float is four take away zero, which is four. OK, so that is C. Right, how about D? Well, we've got nine, nine and 11, 11, and the duration is two. So D is critical. So zero, dash, dash. How about E? Now, for E, it's not critical. For the total float, we've got 12, the outer, take away 7, take away 1. So 12 take away 7, take away 1 would be 4. So that would be the total float for E. How about the independent float? Well, that would be the uh, 9, take away 11, take away 1. So that actually gives us minus 3, OK? But remember, we can't have a negative value for the independent float. So we just put 0. OK. Right, and then the interfering float will be 4, take away 0, which is 4. OK, how about F? F's here. So it's not critical. So we've got 16 take away 7, take away 4 for the total float. So 16 take away 7 is 9, take away 4 is 5. So that's 5, that's the total float. The independent float, the inner, inner one, so 16 take away 11, take away 4. So 16 take away 11 is 5, take away 4 is 1. So the independent float is 1. So the interfering float is 5 take away 1, which is 4. Right, G. Well, G, we've got 11, 11, 16, 16. So G, and the, the duration is 5. So G is uh, critical. And finally, H is not critical. Uh, the total float is 16 take away 9. Take away the duration 4. So that would get me 3. The independent float is 16, take away 12, take away 4. So that would be 0. And 3 take away 0 is 3. OK? And so this is how we can calculate the total float, independent float, and interfering float for all of the activities in an activity network.